People take comfort in thinking that after Halloween, the veil between the two worlds goes back to being thick as wool. I've never believed that. I think the veil between our world and the other is always thin. And it's just when you're drunk or you're sad or something bad happens that you notice how thin it always is. But you can't go around telling people that, though. That's why my little half-sister Verily has such a hard time. She tells people all sorts of things that she sees and hears, and everybody thinks that she's crazy. My older brother Jason used to do the same thing. Everybody in my family has a sight, but it was like Jason was always wearing magnifying glasses. Everything was always amplified. Everything in this world and the next, he heard it. And people used to be treated real special when they had that kind of gift. We put them up in Apollo's temples and called them oracles, but Jason, Jason just got called crazy. And honestly, if you were hearing and seeing all manners of things, wouldn't you go a little mad? Hell, people who just hear the things going on in this world go mad all the time. Jason, or JJ, as everybody called him, ran away from home when he was 18, and he went up to South Carolina. And honestly, I think my mother was happy to have him gone. Every time he called my grandma or my great aunties, they asked if she wanted to talk to him, and she always said no. My grandmama Gardenia, well, she was a real special case. Her kin fled all the way up into house and Thaler hundreds of years ago. They've been here for so long that the local courthouse don't even have a record of how far back we go. Now, she always worried about Jason the most because, well, her daddy, our great-granddaddy, he was like him. So when he passed earlier this year, I can't say I was too sad about it. Of course I was sad, but I guess living with him made me, what do you call him, one of them glass children? I know it wasn't his fault, and I tell him that when I feel him close to me. Through that thin veil, thin as silk, I feel him reaching out and trying to say he's sorry.